Hey guys, Ethrion here from Langrisser C. It's a new week, it just hit 1am over here at Singapore and uh, we're going to start the Timeless Trial series early this week. I am on leave, which is why I can afford to stay up late tonight. So we'll get right into it with S1. And it's a fairly interesting map in that uh, your team is a bit split up. Whenever that happens, we always do uh, this composition. I say this like everybody knows, like uh, that. Uh, where basically what happens is that uh, we will attack uh, with Leon, and then we will again with uh, Liana, who will then uh, be able to uh, get him a second attack and hopefully finish off this Dark Elf General. Anyway, I'm not going to talk so much, let's just get into it. Okay, so we are going to Chivalry up. I'm going to uh, hit the Cyclops. If assault, it is generally a guaranteed kill. Uh, we are going to... Ah, oh, crud, I forgot to bring my faction buff for Ledin. Darn it. Okay. okay, I'm gonna... Miracle, I guess? Yeah, let's just Miracle up. Uh, from Tiaris. I was doing uh, Phoenix before this, so which is why I changed up that in skill load out a bit. I don't like leaving uh, ranged units alive. Oh, I forgot to. Okay, never mind then. <laughs> I forgot to miracle attack messing him. Oh well. Faction buff. We're gonna move up and we are... Yeah, gonna miracle. Okay, good. The Cyclops is maimed quite significantly. We're gonna advance uh, with Ledin. Uh, let's see, can I hit the Cyclops? Uh, yeah, I can. So I'm gonna um, siege up uh, Ledin first of all. We are going to hit this, uh, that bone dino with uh, attack dressing. That should keep it uh, occupied. We are going to hit the Cyclops with Ultimula. That should be able to finish it off. Yep, as expected. Very good. And we are probably just going to pray her up, Ledin. So that he can smash that bone dino when it comes in here. He blocks, it's not gonna take much damage. And he destroys it, as expected. I can't reach the Hellfire Archer, so unfortunately I'm gonna have to kill the bone dino first. That at least buys me time. Uh, because Ledin does not have his Divine Guard up. And therefore, it'll be a waste of time attacking with him. Uh, we're gonna stand here because normally these Hellfire Archers have an AoE skill of some kind. He's gonna move down, and Leon's just gonna pick him off. I'm not even gonna bother with Shifuri. There we go. So that's S1 done. I will remember to bring Ledin's faction buff next turn. <laughs> After enemy is killed, damage is reduced by 50%. Ooh, that's really nasty. Cannot be dispelled. Okay, what do we have here? Cavalry, 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 cavalry. So, uh, range, range, and holy. Same thing. But this time, I will bring the faction buff. I don't know whether... Um, we will be significantly affected 
he has aim, so he has one two range. Okay, I don't know whether uh, let uh, what do you call it? Uh, Ledin will be significantly affected by the time law. Let's see. Um, can you reach? No. Can you reach? No. Can you reach? Yes. So if I want, I need to stand here. One, two, that's within reach though. Decisions, decisions. Okay, anyway. I'm gonna again let him, we're gonna be aggressive. He is gonna divine guard. Terrace is gonna move up. And by miracle. Eon is going to move up and stand here and Ultimate is going to come over here Faction buff for Leon Let's see what happens 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, you should not be in range I think Oh you are in range No you're not, great This Archer will be in range however, unfortunately Okay We take significant damage Let's see we should heal up from this attack because we should heal up more than we um, more than we take in damage. Okay, so the tank and spank strategy works here. The hellhound would definitely hit lead in. We strike whatever. Very good. Okay. So we just gotta maintain a base here, uh, and we are going to attack Blessing Leon, who's going to assault, uh, no, let's not assault, let's save assault for the next attack, because we're going to have 50% reduced damage. Okay, come over. Okay, that's nice, I guess. <laughs> ah, I, I can't again him, can I? Ah, that was a mistake, wasn't it? Okay, the Archer General is dead. That's nice. Time Law affects the uh, Ultimula. We will Sage up Ledin because it's necessary. Okay, Cavalry General dies, and all that's left is a Holy General, who's gonna attack Ledin uh, head on. A bit uh, foolhardy, but you know. We're gonna whack the Holy General with Ledin. All the troops are down, so even if uh, Leon's damage is reduced by a half, it doesn't matter. S2 cleared. to S3, taking melee attacks reflects all damage. Again, this only applies when you are number one attacking and number two if the enemy survives. If the enemy does not survive, then the point is moot. Okay, we're gonna move those with shorter legs down. And we are going to faction buff up. Not gonna bother with Liana and again because they are well out of range. Uh, so no rush, no rush at all. Faction buff. Oh dear. <laughs> um. Okay, I guess. I'm just gonna stay here. Uh, where can you move? Not that far. Where can you move? Where can you move? Can you move there? Hmm. I'm thinking about it. I'm probably just gonna stay put this turn. All the enemies I really wanna hit. Basically, the ranged enemies are not in range this turn, unfortunately. So let's see where the assassins can attack, because I wanna stay out of their way. Not out of cowardice, but mainly because uh, we won't be able to retaliate. Ok, 
Okay, so that's here. So these are my safe spaces. This assassin. None of them have cold steel. So just the AoE skills. So one more square. The square of the mist dancer. Oh, the mist dancer is really far. Okay, anyway, um, I think here will be a good spot. Because the skeleton knight, or whatever you call it, will be able to hit us. Mm. That within range, that's not within range. Uh, okay, that's not within range. Stand on the ruler here. Uh, yeah, that's gonna come here. Good sage on the right person. Even though we already had a sage from Tiaris, it's fine. We're gonna hit the angel. Um, just so that Ledin doesn't have to take that much of a. Okay, uh, killing it would be nice also, which we do. Um, yeah, so Ledin doesn't have to take that much damage. Okay, the assassin archers are moving to range, excellent. We're gonna uh, DDQ this Undead Knight, as always, because Ledin is a boss. We're gonna move up aggressively and hit this Miss Dancer. Ooh, nasty. Ah, right, because he didn't kill her. Uh, okay, I'm gonna make sure that we do kill her this time. Ultimula is gonna destroy her. Excellent. Uh, I wanted to attack Blessing Leon. I'm not sure if I can afford to do so. I'll try. We will hit the Archer with attack Blessing uh, without the, the skill. So, one, two, three, four. Okay. A four charge sounds good to me. And you're gonna move up. And we're gonna again Leon. Okay, assault plus attack passing we should make short work of the assassin general. Very good. And now we just have to tank a few attacks from these enemies. Come on over. Defense break, whatever. Okay. Nice, almost killed him actually. Skeleton Master goes down to a Holy Ledin's attacks, which is very, very expected. Tiaris is just gonna finish it, finish it off. Uh, or she will not and disappoint me utterly. Let's just finish you off, Lobster Behemoth. Okay. So I was right last week when I said that that was the last time we'll be doing uh, A+, plus because we could sweep past A+, plus this week. Cancel, cancel, battling against archers and assassins. Oh, well, that's good, because I don't have any. Oh gosh, one of these. One of these. <laughs> oh, nasty, 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 nasty. Ah... Uh, I think I need to swap somebody, anybody. No, too far. So I need to put Altimola there, I think. Let's put Altimola here. Still not far enough. Mm. Leon has to be there. I think uh, for the healers let me see where's Tiaris? Tiaris maybe it isn't too far after all if Ledin 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 where are you? Ledin's here Liana's here should I give you boots? nah it's not necessary so where can you move? Tiaris looks like she's the main limiting factor. Um, 
One, two, three, four. Sorry, I'm just calculating. So if Legend stands here, you can probably cover for Liana here, who can again Leon from here, which is one, two, three. Yeah, that should be fine, I think. Hmm. Now the only problem is Ultimula, because he's gonna die, more or less. Unless I- Oh! No, it's not. Okay. I think I got this. I think. I think I've got this. Move Ledin over here. Divine Guard. So that he can provide maximum guard radius. Uh, Liana can move over here, here. Okay. We're gonna stand next to Ledin. And we are... We're not yet. We don't have to stand next to that yet, so we're gonna shiver up. We're gonna hit this guy. Good. Uh, she just needs to be there, so I can afford to do that. Spread our death breath around. We are going to again Leon. We are going to hit this Cyclops General and we're gonna run back. Okay, I don't think that stacks, but now we have the chance for Ultimula to have a safe space to hide. Uh, and we're gonna miracle that in. Hit the Leon in the process. The mage should mass attack. Oh, freaking doesn't. Wow, okay. Nasty. Okay, Cyclops smash on Ledin. He should tank this with the upgrades that we've gotten. Okay, we are lucky. Uh, unlucky in that healing light got uh, debuff, got removed. Lucky in the sense that uh, we survived. Yep. And then in faction buffs, we attack blessing Leon. I don't know who to attack. <laughs> Can you? One, two, three, four, five. No, you can't. I think Ledin can survive any more hits like that. So we're gonna hit the mage. Oh, is the infantry a better idea? Uh, let's just hit the mage first. Okay. Move up. Uh, we're gonna come forward and attack. The Holy General with Ultimola. I'm betting that uh, Ledin will still be the focus of this uh, Orc General who has used up his raw. So we can definitely get our healing light proc off. Yes, very nice. And now everyone is out of attack range. Excellent. We're gonna hit the Cyclops because his raw is annoying. Good. Stay put and death breath this infantry general. Uh, okay. So we are going to hit the infantry general with Ultimola. Alright, not too shabby, I guess. Um, one tile guard radius means that I need to stand everybody within this square because I'm going to attack with Ledin. Unfortunately, he does not kill. And I don't think Liana will kill either. Okay. Let's see what happens. Good. Ledin should be able to finish him off. Or not. 
I did not account for his 700 defense. Oh man, the death threat almost got him. I knew this will do the trick. Alright, so S4 is done. A bit of a tricky map, but nothing we couldn't overcome. Again, this has happened before, and that was how I solved it the last time. This time is no different. Okay, so we're almost at the end of S. Mobility plus two, immune to mobility reduction effects. Who gets a buff? These are the ladies, the princess ladies get a buff. Alright, let's see what we have. Mobility plus two is normally a good thing for me. If I'm bringing like cavalry and all that. Okay, so I'm gonna bring my usual squad for these maps. Uh, you are not in the usual squad. The usual squad is this guy, this gal, uh, and this bugger. <laughs> ah, I've got to give her bloodthirst uh, to ensure the kill. Oh! I did not change my bozo skills. I'm gonna... Sorry, I'm gonna redo that. I forgot to change my bozo skills. But it should be fast because we are heading into this uh, with the exact same team comp. Sleep. Okay, that's good. Yada 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 yada. Maybe I should stand you here. Okay. So everybody has mobility plus two. Let's see the danger zone. Wow, that's crazy. Where do you contribute? Okay, you contribute there. Where's your danger zone? Holy crap, that's crazy. Where's your danger zone? There. Okay, fine. Uh, maybe I should kill you now first then. Where are these ladies' danger zones? Okay. Okay, yeah, why don't we just kill these guys first? Can you again from there without getting hit? Okay, again from there, so she can- Diana can again from here, which means Leon is to end back up here. It should be fine, because this is where he starts his charge. Who has less defense? Okay, let's just try this out. Mm. We shall use the skill for... Wait, 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 wait. One, two, three, four. Oh wait, he has plus two movement, so it doesn't matter. Okay, that's fine. Oh man, I shall use the skill. Just short by a bit for Leon's damage. Okay, let's try that again. This time with Assault. Or Crit would have been nice, but of course, we can't have nice things, can we? The main threat is Luna in my mind because of her crazy mobility with Wind Spiral and all that she can reach us across the map and we don't know whether this is a stationary map or not. Oh man. That was just lucky. The unlucky that the boat rangers actually triggered. Can you tell me what? I'm going to hold back. Since we know that Leon can't do the trick on his own, unfortunately. Okay, a lot of clocking, but well, that's life. We're gonna stand Leon over here. Ultimula is gonna come down over here. Ultimate is gonna stay put like a good boy. And we are gonna faction buff up with Bolton. So Zerida is there just to give uh, Leon the push that he needs. Stay put, Liana. Hopefully it's a stationary map. It is excellent. Okay, so we are firstly going to attack 
Silver Wolf with Assault. Like that. He dies, as expected. Next, Zerida is going to move up. And finish off Luna. Whirlwind all you want. You're still going down. Hide and seek, good. Uh -huh. We will next again Leon with the extra movement from this timeless trials effects. We'll be able to hit Jessica. Uh -huh. So you're gonna expect that uh, he will get hit by Die Hard next turn. But after that, even if Leon dies, we will have uh, a lot of enemies. Sorry, we will have a lot of units converging at Die Hard to kill him. Let's see whether Sophia can reach him. She can, unfortunately. Oh, she doesn't heal him up. That's not very smart, is it? So we are going to. Uh, uh, let's see, let's see. There's so many ways to execute these guys. Let's. Fireball. That's done. Let's hit Sophia. Excellent. And we just need to Raging Thunder, and she's dead. Okay, so that's uh, S5 and all of S done. Uh, I normally would cut out the parts where we fail, but you know, I'm lazy and we are in a rush. We want to finish this as soon as possible. So uh, that's S done, moving on to SS.